Hey everybody, this is Tim from AndroidPCReview.com. One of the best things about using an Android device is how much you can customize it. Now today we're looking at another Android launcher. This one's called TV Launcher by a company called Awesome Development. When you first run it, you're going to have a pretty blank screen. There is literally nothing here but a clock. Nothing is preloaded. Now if you swipe or click to the right, you're going to have a listing of all your apps. They're going to be sorted there alphabetically for you. But you can also click that icon in the upper right and get them into a grid view if you prefer that. So if you switch back to alphabetical, you've also got a sidebar on the right, which will let you search to find whichever letter you're looking for. Also at the top, there's a filter box or a search box, which will let you filter down to whatever app has that particular search term you're looking for. Now here on the left side is where you're going to get most of your settings and also your customization options. You're going to have three main icons here, and they all center around getting those apps that you want on your main page. You're going to have Add Featured Apps. Now this is going to be what they consider your most popular, your really go-to apps. Things like Chrome, Facebook, uh, Netflix, XBMC, anything that they consider important that you're going to use on a daily basis. To add an app to the home screen is really easy. You just click on it and it'll drop it over on the right-hand side in alphabetical order. The second option is going to be add any apps. Now, if you didn't see what you wanted in that previous screen, this will give you a listing of every single app you've got. Again, all you want to do is click on the app and it'll drop it over still in alphabetical order. So let's go back to the main page and take a look what that looks like. Now, as I said, you're not going to be able to drag and drop and reorganize your apps. Everything is in alphabetical order, but what you can do, if you click on the app, you can select it as a favorite and that's going to move it to the head of the list. That's also going to be how you're going to delete the app if you don't want it on your screen anymore. Now the final option is if you want to add a bookmark to a web page. They give you a couple of options there, nothing really major, but the strength is you can add in any custom URL you want. So that way if you wanted to save a bookmark to say your favorite Android review site, you could do that. Just enter in the URL and the page name and then click create and it's going to make you hit create one more time. Let's slide the keyboard out of the way, hit create again and it pops up again still in alphabetical order. Now one of the things I liked about this is it keeps the size of the icons the same. So if you have more than nine, simply scroll down and you'll find the rest of your apps there. Now back in the left hand side, all of your customizable options are going to be here under the TV launcher settings. So quickly going through these settings, the tile label options is if you want to include titles on your icons here on the main page. Most times it's not really necessary and it does kind of clutter up the look a bit. You can also change the opacity. You can choose whether you want to use an on-screen keyboard or if you have a hardware keyboard, you can do that too. And finally, you can choose what kind of wallpaper you want for the home page. The in-app has a couple of choices for you, or you can use a system wallpaper that's your default. And finally, if you have a third party source or say you want to use a photo for it, you can use that as well. And if we get out of this, we can also go back and go to the main system settings in case there's anything you want to change there. So that's our look at TV Launcher, a launcher that's specifically designed for Android smart TV boxes. Check us out on AndroidPCReview.com and on our channel for other great videos.